dive into, because there are some listeners that are kind of new to this. So what is the mitochondria keeping it super simple right there? And then what role do they play? And then kind of moving into um, some of the hormonal influences and such. So mitochondria, and that's plural. So mitochondrion, it would be one mitochondrion, you know, just one unit. Um, but essentially, we've got them throughout the body, and they shepherd our energy production. So when we are exercising, we can actually increase mitochondria number. So the mitochondria aren't just static, we can actually have more, which may be connected to more energy production, right? Now, there is a double edged sword with mitochondria. And that is that Sure, more energy is good, but we also have to tend to the mitochondria because there's a cost to getting the energy from the mitochondria. And as we get older, what ends up happening is we tend to see what we call in functional medicine, mitochondrial dysfunction. Mm -hmm. And mitochondrial dysfunction is related to neurodegeneration. So looking at different diseases like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's because the nervous system has this connection very closely with the mitochondria. So we want to tend to our mitochondrion through just overall as, as an organelle in the cell throughout our lifetimes, but especially, especially as we get older because things are less efficient. So the way that the mitochondria clean up after all of that energy processing is a little bit less efficient. So we just have to be sure that we are guaranteeing more things like antioxidants in the diet.